I'm JMV from FM 107.5 and 1070 The Fan, and I host an afternoon radio show from 3 until 7. I'm at a game, and somebody takes a picture of the top of my head, which was balding. And while everybody thought it was funny, and I kind of thought it was funny, the serious person in me thought, I need to do something about that. You know, I had multi-unit hair grafting, and it just seemed like something that was right for me. There's no rug, there's no spray paint, there's no glue, there's no somebody else's hair. This is all your hair. Basically, I put it in sports terms here. What they do is resod the playing field. It's your own hair, and that's what they do at PAI with multi-unit hair grafting. Aaron makes it really easy. The folks there are as professional as you're going to get, and they explained it to me from top to bottom to where there was no nerves whatsoever. Every step was planned out for you, and it was even better than I thought it was going to be. That's the thing probably that stuck out more so than anything else to me, was how they treat the patients. You know, a lot of people say, you know, you come first, but at PAI they do. I may have my own VIP page, but everybody's treated like a VIP at PAI. You know that you're losing your hair, you have a receding hairline, you're going bald, but there's an alternative. You can do something about it. You don't have to live with it. You don't have to shave your head. There is a better way. There's another way to keep your natural growing hair with PAI. I went with multi-unit hair grafting, but the Artist Robotic FUE is incredible too. I mean, just seeing how that works. So it's just not one thing you can do. I mean, there are choices you can make here. You see the results right now. You see what my hair has done. I enjoy having hair. I enjoy styling it different. I like to mess around with it. It's been a, an amazing experience. People that have seen me at sporting events before go, wait a minute, you didn't look like that. You're not the same guy that had the bald spa that I saw six months ago. And I said, no, it's because I use PAI. If you come to the realization that you would like to have your hair back, if you have a receding hairline, if you have a bald spot that you just think needs to be fixed and you want that hair that you had back when you were younger, PAI is the place to go right now. Hey guys, JMV here for his 12 month follow up. He's in here getting a haircut, let's go take a look. You're looking pretty good. Uh, the, uh, you got my neck. the playing surface has been resodded. It has. It's been resodded, guys, look at this. Woo! Yeah, different color here too. Bleached out uh, from a little Florida action, I believe. Wow. We're gonna do a, a more detailed follow up here in just a few. Getting a haircut with the lovely Jackie, so uh, Jackie. he's in good shape. All right, guys, we're here with JMV. I remember way back we talked about the uh, Southern Indiana Moulet, and it's a little more right. refined now, mm -hmm. a little more refined look. Well, the first time I see anybody, it's the first thing they say. Yeah. Is, yeah. Hey, how's the hair? Or, hey, look at your hair. It's always about the hair right here. Guys, you may remember JMV had this hairline in place and then he thinned yeah. all the way behind it. So, right. so what we did is we started in the crown, we worked our way forward. Just tilt forward for me, but I want to show everybody here. We basically went all the way back through here. So. This is all basically transplants right through this top area now. And you see how natural it looks? This is called a part line test. So what we're actually doing here, guys, is we're parting through the hair and we're looking at the angles and the way the hair sits and falls. A lot of this is now transplants all the way from just behind the hairline working back. So basically right through this top area, we did his crown, the monkey butt as he calls it. Yep. Large area like this came all the way forward to the front. Center of the crown, we start with what we call the swirl pattern and we work our way out. So let's have a look. We're looking at JMV's crown area. If you look really closely here, you can see how these angles, we've rebuilt the swirl pattern. We transplant all the way down into here. Now at the center of the swirl like this, it'll always be naturally a little bit thinner because that's where the origin of the hair angles begin. This is all transplants in this crown when we started. It had very, very little non-transplant hair. So if you look at these angles here, see the way the hair sits and falls? That's copying the natural angles of these hairs in this area. Um, he's doing some preventative things, thank you sir, to keep the hair he's already got. He's in great yeah. shape, so I uh, couldn't be more excited. Thanks again, bud. Appreciate yeah, it. It's been a yep. fantastic time, it really has, and it looks great. It, really it looks it's a lot of fun. So uh, stay tuned, guys.